Uh, we're out looking at orcas and um, watching minkies and humpbacks. Quite a full morning <laughs> before breakfast, before coffee. Well, we stumbled on a uh, small group of type A killer whales. These are the, uh, the black and white ones, minky hunters. Uh, we don't see them very often here and we've never put a tag on one, so maybe we're hoping that uh, while everyone's having breakfast, we can sneak out in a small boat and try to put a tag on one of these guys. <laughs> it was a great day. Um, we have very little opportunity to work with Taipei killer whales. And they're often in open water where it can be rough, and we had great weather conditions and whales that were very approachable. In fact, they, they approached us, and we were able to deploy two depth tags, one on an adult female, one on an adult male, and a location tag that will last longer and allow us to relocate them over the coming months. This was an added bonus. We didn't realize that this kind of research was going on. Watching these people go out there and tag these whales, getting that close to them, having the whales come up to them, this is just, this is the best, truly. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Did you see that? Yeah. And we're doing that because it allows us to keep track of the whales and so we hope to follow them over the next two months. It's a tool we have to spend, if you like, remotely spend more time with these whales without, without us necessarily being there all the time. We can, uh, we can learn about how they live their lives even though they can be hard to observe. <laughs>